Hi, I'm Jason Hansma, guitar instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Fishman Aura Spectrum DI. Now, if you've ever played acoustic guitar live, which you probably have, you are also probably really aware that your acoustic guitar, whether it's uh, no matter what EQ you're using, no matter uh, what kind of under saddle pickup you're using, even if you're using the really fancy high-end mic blend systems, it never really seems like it sounds like your acoustic guitar in a live environment, right? We're just kind of used to hearing that live kind of rubbery sound, sounds like this. Right, it sounds familiar. We've all gotten used to it, but what if you could actually do it better? And that's what Fishman has tried to do with this Aura Spectrum DI. So let's take a look at it. Quick overview of the box. We have volume. We have our image selection, we have our image blend, we have a three band EQ, compressor, a tuner, and an anti-feedback switch. Um, on the sides, we also have an effects loop. You can also come out a quarter inch. There's some trim, there's some phasing, you know, uh, approaches as well. So there's a number of things that you can do with this. And on its own, it's a great sounding DI. If you don't have a DI, why not have this one? It's a great one. However, the real magic comes in with the Aura technology. Now, what the Aura technology is, is essentially, from what I understand, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not an engineer, but they have mic'd up just hundreds of guitars, all different body styles, all different, uh, all different brands, just all different woods, just mic'd them all up, and essentially taken a, a 2000 band EQ image of what it sounds like mic'd up. And then it allows you to blend it into your, your pickup signal. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look at, I'm using, I, I only have like two images that are set that are specifically for this model of guitar. It's for a triple O 28 EC, which is exactly what I have. And I have to say they do a pretty good job of doing a reproduction. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to this with just the pickup without any imaging technology. I have added a little bit of reverb because it's really kind of unfair. If you don't have reverb in a room through an amplified system, it's really unfair to show your pickup without any reverb because we always hear it with some. Okay, now let's go ahead and do a full mix of the Aura image for this particular guitar. I believe this one's using a Neumann pickup. So that is that mic'd image, and you can tell it sounds really different. Now, the beauty of this system is that it actually allows you to blend the signals together. And really, Fishman recommends kind of landing between the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock position. Uh, I found mine right around 11 o'clock feels about right. So here is how that sounds with the combination. Good reproduction. Now I've been using it live quite a bit and I've been really happy with the sound. And one of the things that I find it's great for is lead work. Um, let's go ahead and listen to just a little just a little bit of riffing with just the original pickup. It's so cold in here, my hands are freezing. All right, now let's listen to it with a blend of about two o'clock.
really makes quite a difference. Now let's go ahead and pull up a different uh, a different model. Let's go ahead and pull up. Um, I, I want to say this one is with a Shure SM57, and uh, let's go ahead and go first full blend. Let's back it off to right around, let's go around noon for this one. does change the tone of your guitar and it's funny when you I've noticed that when I watch videos of this when I was first thinking about buying it I was watching them and you, you kind of as it as it goes on you start going no I still really hear the pickup in there it just sounds like a pickup guitar but then you drop it back to without the blend and realize how much it's changed Now, just to give you an idea of how many other options besides just the, like I said, this one completely matches my guitar, and I think it does a pretty faithful reproduction of it. Um, and just the fact that I get to blend it in and use the pickup that's already there helps me not lose too many, too much low end, and it's not replacing my acoustic sound. It's just applying the EQ to it and uh, allowing it to blend in. So I don't feel like, oh, I'm just not even playing my acoustic guitar now. It's just a model. Um, Let's go ahead and look at some of the options. I'm going to put it on, on orchestra here. That's what they recommend for this style of guitar. And I'm just going to go through all the different images here. We'll turn that blend all the way up so we can really hear it. We'll start at noon. This is taking forever, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump up to 14, which is my favorite one uh, in this bank. And then once again, I'm going to blend it to more about where I would have it for this particular one, right around 1 o'clock. And you know, the point there is what I'm really trying to show you is that there are a lot of different images to work from and you'll find something, you'll most likely find something that really works for your guitar. And it takes a while. Like I definitely spent a lot of time trying to dial it right in. Now I've got my, you know, user image one set right around 11 o'clock and that's where I feel like it belongs live. Um, sometimes I turn it up a little bit more if I'm going to be taking some lead. The other nice feature about this is it has a compressor. Now I don't usually use compressor on acoustic guitar, however, just a little bit here, setting it to about nine o'clock, 
is a nice change. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Uh, let me go back to my normal image here. And uh, first I'm gonna play it without any compressor. a little bit just kind of helps even it out. Now really quickly, like I said, there's also a tuner on it and there's also an anti-feedback. So if you're getting loud, it'll just, you can hit that button and if it hears the feedback, it'll essentially just kill that one frequency. Ideally, you don't have to work with that. I have a tendency to still shape this a little bit uh, with the EQ on the soundboard, just to kind of pull out any kind of troublesome frequencies. So it's nice to still have that option. However, I think, you know, for an under saddle pickup, this really does a nice job of reproducing um, or really just kind of adding more of that live sound to your acoustic guitar. I've been really happy with it. I haven't had any trouble with things built like a tank. And um, yeah, I, I feel like I could heartily recommend it. And it allows me to, you know, not drop 300, 400 bucks on a pickup system that is going to give me all kinds of trouble too.